guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys S Voice on any Android ice cream sandwich 4.0 device. Uh, this has been leaked. It was supposed to be exclusively released on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, we don't even have any confirmation on the date for when that phone will be released in the United States. However, it is uh, beginning to show up in United States Celebrite systems uh, for retail sales, so it should be coming pretty soon. Uh, but if you need your Samsung Galaxy S3 fix now, you can have it with this S Voice. There's also been uh, the launcher, the TouchWiz launcher has been also leaked so that you can install that on your Galaxy Nexus device. The S Voice should be compatible with any phone that's running Android Ice Cream Sandwich, whether that be the stock build or a ROM that is uh, built on a 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, so. Before we get into this review of the S Voice application, of course you guys know that it's the Siri-like application that's supposed to be released on the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So the first thing you want to do is download it to your phone. Uh, once it's downloaded, you'll have it here. You'll just click that and install it. Of course, for this to install, uh, you will have to go into your settings and check the box for unknown sources. If you don't do that, it won't install. Some people were having trouble with this earlier in the week. Uh, they were getting errors. Uh, I guess whenever S Voice had a million or more users trying to use it. Samsung obviously was not prepared for that on their server side, so they were getting some server errors uh, where S Voice was not able to communicate with the server. That has been resolved. I guess maybe uh, the use of this leaked application has waned a little bit. Uh, people are were interested to see how it worked, and then of course they quit using it, so it's not as congested. It's working just fine for me. Other people were having other errors, parsing errors and whatnot, and they were saying that's because it wasn't signed, so this signed version has been released. There's also another version that you can flash via Clockwork Mod Recovery if this application won't work for you. I'll, I'll include that as well in the description. I'll give you a link for that as well if you want to download that. Of course, if you don't know how to flash via Clockwork Mod, then that one's not for you. It's in a zip form, so you would just install zip from SD card and Clockwork Mod Recovery. Of course, that does require a root. Uh, this application, if you install that, it does not require a root, just that you go in and check unknown sources unknown sources excuse me so we'll go ahead and open this and the first time you run it it's going to give you some options here be sure not to change uh, the option to okay if you say hi galaxy it'll wake up s voice here it goes it's gonna wake it up because I just said it okay so anyhow if you press the question mark there, it's going to give you all your different options. It just recognizes your voice. If you speak to it, it recognizes. Sorry, I can't find any such alarms. So see that? I'm going to exit out of this real quick to tell you more about it. If you click on that question mark, it's going to bring up all your options, things that you can say to S Voice to get a response, like how's the weather, uh, what's the weather like. You can ask for movie times. You can ask it a a Google search question it should give you an answer uh, there's several different things that you can do what's the weather in Mobile Alabama here is the weather for Mobile Alabama and it's going to give you a high galaxy movie times for Mobile Alabama And it pops up the browser, of course, you can just click on the browser, it's going to bring up Fandango, and it should give us a list of movie times. For some reason, it is taking its time. Did this a little quicker earlier today. And it could just be my 3G signal here in the house. See, we'll go back. Uh, you can also pull up an application. So, oh. I'm not sure what you mean by so. <laughs> Anytime you speak it, recognize it. Open Twitter. Hi, Galaxy. Open Twitter. You must log 
into Twitter to update your status. So it's going to open up the Twitter application. You could also. Hi, Galaxy. Open Gmail. Opening Gmail. So you see, it's not perfect yet. Of course, they're, I'm sure they're going to update that. Uh, but it has several things that can be helpful. If you want to try it out, it is available now. It's been leaked. It's available for all ice cream sandwich devices or, like I said, if you're running a custom ice cream sandwich ROM. And you can get that application from the link in the description. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest news and Android and other technology. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Uh, be sure to click the subscribe button here if you're new to the channel. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.